This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. They violated the law, it's pretty clear to me. I think the law was very clear and no changes really are necessary. The vote can move forward as planned after a judge denied a petition that would have taken Washoe County Question 1 off the ballot. Campaign 2016 tops Channel 2 News at 5 o'clock. We're talking about WC1, a ballot question that would increase Washoe County's sales tax to build and maintain more schools in this area. Good evening, I'm Kristen Remington. And I'm Landon Miller. One critic says the registrar of voters actually broke the law in writing ballot question one, but his petition to remove the question was denied just today. Paul Nelson was at today's court hearing and joins us live in the newsroom with more. So Paul, what were the reasons why Jeff Church wanted to remove this question in the first place? Well, Landon, two committees are in charge of submitting arguments for and against ballot questions consisting of three members each. He he argues that WC1 is written in a biased way, partly because his opposition committee had two members, while the committee in favor had four. He says that's a legal violation, but the judge disagreed. The petition is denied. After about two hours of arguments, Judge Scott Freeman decided to leave WC1 on the ballot, saying the registrar of voters was in compliance and that Jeffrey Church had no standing for his argument. But I wanted to give Mr. Church his day in court. I wanted him to be able to make his arguments, but from a legal perspective. They all fail. The ruling means voters will decide if they want to raise Washoe County sales tax by more than a half percent. If passed, the plan would raise more than $780 million in nine years to build eight new schools and improve existing ones. I'm really happy uh, mostly for the fact that it's behind us now and we can move forward with the election with, uh, with no further questions. I didn't lose today. The taxpayer lost. Number one, they lost with this bad tax that never ends a bait and switch tax measure. And number two, it's going to be tied up in litigation. Church says WC1 is slanted in favor of the question, but the attorney of the Save Our Schools Coalition says the petitioner purposely waited till the last minute to quote, gum up the works. Petitioner Church was doing exactly that by trying to win this election before it even starts. He's trying to make sure that the process is fair and done accurately. The state legislature passed a bill in 2015 that requires the county commission to put a question like this on the ballot, but Church argues it shouldn't be voted on as written. You put it on the next election or even a special election. That way both sides get heard, we get our rebuttal on there, we get a good explanation, just put it on the next one, it's a win-win. This question has, is already expected by the voters. They expect to be able to vote on it. Those are the folks that are my biggest concern and I think that there was a fair decision made today. Cutler says it's too late to change the question. Sample ballots have already been mailed. Early voting begins tomorrow, and 5,500 people have already submitted absentee ballots. Covering campaign 2016 live in the newsroom, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News. And Paul, soon enough people will be able to